to get that sense of how a portfolio performs, you need to practice. You need to be in the market. Why is it so important to have an investment approach? Because don't all money managers really do the same thing? We have a very strong belief that managing money successfully starts with avoiding mistakes, avoiding counterproductive decision. And to avoid those counterproductive decisions, for instance, reacting emotionally, you need to have a framework. And this is what the investment process is about. Now, the problem uh, with people like myself, who've managed money for actually more than three decades, <laughs> this investment process is sort of coded in our brain. It's not constant, by the way, because capital markets evolve over time. Uh, so we need to adapt to survive and continue to be successful with our clients. We never really sit down, take the time to write it in an articulated manner, helping ultimately our investor understand the rationale of what we do. So really what you're saying is it's about managing risk. That's what sets us apart is how we manage that potential risk. But what are some of the other key ideas from your perspective for this process? It's about managing risk in the sense of taking risk, but taking good risk and mitigating the not so good risk. It requires a very deep understanding of the sources of return in capital market. How do you produce good risk-adjusted return in a portfolio? And how have you come to this? Because what's quite interesting when I was researching uh, for this is that you also, you're a CIO that also manages money, not just that investment approach. What does that add to the role? Well, when people are asking about this, you know, even at some point our regulator did, <laughs> is the CIO managing money? Really? Yes, of course he is. You know? And I would say it's like if you like um, car racing, you know. It's fun to do car racing on PlayStation, but it's not like the real experience on a track with a proper car. Uh, when you make a mistake, the car goes off track, right? Uh, this is the same with investment. Asset allocation on spreadsheets, paper exercises do not really mean much to me. What really matters is the actual way a portfolio performs. And to get that sense of how a portfolio performs, you need to practice. You need to be in the market. You need to experience periods of good and not so good performance. That's how you eventually grow and become a better investor. So you're really literally putting your money where your mouth is. Absolutely. You're, you're right 100%. on the forefront. Okay. Is it a kind of mix of art and science then, your job? Oh, totally, totally. You know, I, I think it's the late Charlie Munger in conversation with Warren Buffett who said, you know, this job is about psychology. And uh, the market is uh, made of human beliefs and emotions. And understanding the psychology of the market is very, very important. At the end of the day, we invest in companies. We invest in entities that are managed by people. Understanding the people is also actually quite crucial. And it's about managing people's emotions. I mean, this is really the crux of the job because one thing I've learned over my years at Julius Baer is you know, you, you cannot make decisions based on the market headlines, based on the twists and turns. You really have to have a disciplined approach. 100%. And in this respect, it's often misunderstood by our client that managing money well is not about trading a lot, watching finance channels on television. It is about understanding how the market works, making good decisions, and actually, in many ways, the less you look, the less frequently you look at your portfolio, potentially the better the performance.